Hey guys, Patrick Johnston. Welcome back. Managing broker, co-owner of Go Dominican Life, uh, the real estate company, your real estate company, here throughout the Dominican Republic. Um, we're here again on Playa Las Ballenas, right across from our office. And it's a beautiful day. It's a Friday afternoon. And I thought, you know, why not talk about investment real estate in today's edition of A Walk and Talk, all right? So this is for uh, you to sit back and relax and think because this is a a big concept idea on how you can obtain freedom in your life as I did many, many years ago. Okay, so let's walk and talk. All right, so uh, in the world of investment real estate, um, most people consider investment real estate uh, by buying a single family home or buying a condo and then uh, living in it a couple of uh, weeks a year or uh, renting it out full time and there's nothing wrong with that that are but that is the beginning stages of uh, investing in real estate it is not the professional level <clears throat> you're not really an accredited investor you're just simply uh, uh, getting started <clears throat> and uh, when I got started in 1980 1992 uh, I started the exact same way as I just mentioned I bought a single family, 50, 54 York Street in Guelph, Ontario. That's what I bought. A three bedroom, one bath, single family home. And I could rent that for about $1,200 a month back then. I think my mortgage payment, because I paid seventy dollars or $80,000 for it. So my mortgage payment was five or 600 bucks with 5% down or 10% down. And I put that, that on a cash advance on my credit card. So I got into the real estate game. And I thought I was cool and that was great because I was making five or six hundred dollars profit per month. And at the time, when I with my full-time job, I may have been making around 25 grand a year. So I literally bought one paycheck for one week with one property. So I said, shit, if I can do this and get four of them, I can quit my real world. So uh, over the next say six months, I bought three or four more. 165 Janefield Avenue, 137 Janefield Avenue, uh, 50, uh, 33 and 35 Suffolk Street, all in Guelph, Ontario. And uh, they, were, they were working. They were working for me. So at that point, I had generated, let's call it uh, six weeks of, uh, watch yourself, six weeks of, uh, six, six weeks of paychecks. So I've now covered my entire one month of pay and I was like 25 or 26 years old, and I thought it was the cat's meow. And then you realize you can cap out. And capping out is uh, when you do single family investment properties and you leverage them with a mortgage uh, of any type, any typical bank lender will cap you out at about a million dollars in lending. And then you start to realize that you can't multiply the machine because the machine is not meant to be an investment strategy. It's meant to be you own your personal residence and then you get one or two extra ones as rental properties. You break even and they're investments for long term. That is not investment real estate. That is just speculation. It's not really based on cash flow and all the work for those assets you must do because you don't have enough money as profit to pay for your team to make shit happen. So over the next couple of years, I realized that uh, that game was good. And I did what, uh, better back up here. Uh, I did what most people then experience, which was, okay, the properties have gone up by 50% in say three or four years of when I own those. So I had to take action on those and call call them like you would, like you would uh, take a, a flock of uh, chickens or whatever you call it, and you harvest the chickens and you keep the eggs and then you, you repurpose your money back and forth. Sorry for the vegans in the world. So that's what I did. So I put all four to six of them, whatever it was, on the market and I took the gain, the capital gain, and what I ended up doing is realizing by watching and learning and uh, paying attention to other investors as they were going up the property ladder, what they were doing, which was trying to find to, uh, as many units that you can put under one roof 
and one furnace, if you will. So I started buying multifamily units, which are a different level of banking, generally six units and above in Canadian marketplace or US marketplace, that goes over to commercial banking. And commercial banking, they love that. They understand it. There's uh, platforms of finance for it. And you can, you can multiply both your uh, equity, you can multiply your income, and therefore multiply your freedom in time. So I went from that, you know, six single family type of homes and condos to then, okay, six, six to eight unit buildings. And then I cut my teeth with those for a few years. That was going back in the city of Guelph, Ontario. Uh, that was, uh, what was that? 98, 1998, 19, yeah, 1998. The bylaw changes in that town started to change where you could only have a maximum of three unrelated family names living in a single rental dwelling. It was a student town, so they didn't want to have student ghettos of four to six bedrooms. And of course, that's what I created. I created student accommodation. My website was called universityliving.com back then. And uh, I realized that that bylaw was coming in, so I better make a change. So I did the call and I put those units on the market. Let's pretend, because I don't know exactly what it was, but let's pretend the market went up 30 to 50% with those assets. I sold those assets and then I was all money, hard money in my pocket or in the bank, if you will. And then I looked for, um, again, more units under one roof. So the first building I bought was in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I bought a 12-unit uh, uh, building and then a 24-unit building so that I, I mastered those type of lending. So I then had to learn how to manage a superintendent I lived in Toronto, but I had properties in Nova Scotia, so I was at a distance. I had to go every once, maybe once every six weeks, just to make sure everything was working. I had to think like a business person, meaning I had to get organized. Uh, it wasn't digital back then, but I had to get leases and a, and a fax machine. <laughs> Imagine that. So fax machine back and forth and monitor deposits and all the rest of it. <coughs> and then I said, well, okay. So I took the original no money down cash advance on my credit card and now is at a level that I was uh, one or two million dollars in assets meaning uh, equity from the years and then I thought you know what let's do this to the next level so then I sold those and bought my first true multifamily which was a 41 unit complex in Glace Bay Nova Scotia up in Cape Breton one, uh, 65 to number 71 Dominion Avenue in, in Glace Bay. And all two bedroom units, electrically heated, tenants pay everything. And I paid 1.1 million for it, which is like, uh, whatever that was, $25,000 per apartment. And then I was, then I saw the light, like boom. This is the way it has to be. I was making five to $8,000 a month on that asset. And again, going back, say six or eight years previous, I was making five or $600 a month, but now I was making real money and I still had a real job making about 30 grand a year in my airline world back before I was into real estate. So you start to get the picture of what I'm saying. It takes experience, it takes knowledge, it is not a sales position type of thinking, it's a business mind. You have to analyze numbers, get comfortable with, with Excel, uh, be a hard ass if 80% uh, of the time when you're dealing with a business because you have to make decisions and it's not like you're being happy all the time. You have to kick people out. You have to deal with problems and then you get to know all aspects of a building. Sewer lines, uh, septic fields, roofs that fail, furnaces that fail, frozen pipes. All of that shit show gives you the strength and the knowledge to press on. So over the next 10 years, I went from uh, that one single family 40 unit building thereabouts in Glace Bay to 89 apartment complexes uh, with a value of about $138 million in assets. And if you don't believe me, it's real. It is absolutely real. I did it and I did it with the same original cash advance of five or 6,000 bucks on my credit card. 
So what am I telling you now? Today, today, I'm signing for my first hotel. It's a 25 unit hotel, which I'm going to uh, completely transform the building. And I'm going to uh, take it to the next level of Airbnb by offering uh, niche suites specifically for a specific market I've been targeting. And I know that market is strong right now for the millennials. And uh, we're gonna create a brand and image based on that. <clears throat> so the keys to an investor mindset when you're looking at this is that the meat of the action is that you want to find, generally, you need to get excited about stinky buildings, dirty rundown, maybe boarded up, mold or mildew, shitty tile, shitty kitchens, shitty appliances, terrible bathrooms, things that are leaking. And you will eventually find that very sexy for you as a real estate investor. Because the opposite is true. You're not here as a real estate investor to buy ready-made retail pricing, beautifully decorated single family villa or condo. We create those things. We don't buy those things as an investor. <coughs> You have to be very, very comfortable with the numbers. You have to think and think and no budgets and no ratios and turnovers. Uh, you have to think about costs and energy uh, and a whole bunch of other things. But the, the, what I'm trying to tell you is, as a real estate company as we are, we're not just a bunch of salespeople here trying to make a commission and sell you something, right? Effectively, in the end of the day, that's how the revenue works for the company. But we're educating you on how to become a proper investor, should you be in that mindset, so that you can start to say to yourself, I can get financial freedom in a low cost country such as the Dominican Republic. You can spend your time focused on leveraging ideas and people and personal wealth to create all that freedom that you want in your life. And it's not about money, believe me, it's not about money. If you have enough money in your life that you don't have to work for a living and you can spend more time here, uh, sitting with me, sitting with the team, getting ideas, brainstorming, going through mentorship and masterminds, thinking outside the box, there's a ton of room for investors in the Dominican Republic. You don't, it's not a secret thing. Investors speak to investors. They love speaking to similar mindset people. So our next step is to uh, plan out an investor retreat right here in the Dominican Republic. Um, I'll be launching that over the next, let's call it 30 days or so. And it'll be basically an intense workshop for about a week, week to 10 days, where we'll spend a day in class, if you will, then a day looking at property, and then a day in class and a day off and then a day in class and a day looking at your property because we want to educate you to the point that you feel comfortable to step like this. Step out. Step out of your mindset, your limiting beliefs, your lack of experience. Or if you were like me and you have six single family homes and you think you're the king of kings, you could realize that and you should realize, congratulations, you've made that equity but you're working for that equity now. You're a slave to the labor for those single family homes because you can't hire someone full time to do it because you're not making that much money. But the secret is, is the capital that you've done in the capital gain that will work for you longer, faster, quicker, and easier as your life moves forward. How's that? Is that a lot of information? Is that too much? Is that too much? Comment below. Let me know where you're at in your investing career. If you have four to six units of rental as single family homes and condos, you need to reach out to me. We need to speak. I'm an investor. I will coach you. I will mentor you. I will make sure that you get the right tools to make the right decisions to make your family uh, in a better shape. All right. So my WhatsApp number is down below at 829-525-1782. Monday to Saturday, 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., I answer live. And Sundays I don't because it's Sunday fun day and I take my time off and chill. Okay, so follow me back to the office.
you're going to make some money this year and that money is going to be made by other people giving you money and then I want to have long walks on the beach with you talking about this stuff and how you can improve your life, be more effective, uh, get education that's required in your head, get out of the fear zone and get back to the beach. Okay? Are we on it? Let's go. Don't forget, life is better at the beach. Talk to you soon.